In our previous lecture of mass spectrometry, we discussed about the fundamental fragmentation may happen in a molecule after the formation of a molecular ion. So there was a condition if the lifetime of molecular ion is less than 10 to the power minus 5 second, it may fragment further according to those fundamental fragmentation rules. So in this session, we will discuss the fragmentation can happen in the saturated organic molecules. So let's start with acyclic saturated hydrocarbons. So for saturated hydrocarbons and organic structure containing large saturated hydrocarbon skeletons, the method of fragmentation are quite predictable. Quite predictable. So which depends on the stability of the carbocation and can be used to help us understand the fragmentation patterns of alkanes. So for a straight chain or a simple alkane, a peak of corresponding to the molecular ion can be observed. As we can see the spectrum of these two alkane molecules, one is butane, second one is isobutane. So they have molecular weight 58. So the mass of molecular ion means m by z for molecular ion will be 58. So we can see the peak for molecular ion at M58 in both spectrum. But as the carbon skeleton become more highly branched, as we can see in case of isobutane, the intensity of the molecular ion peak decreases and straight chain alkane have fragments that are always primary carbocations which will form in case of butane. So in case of butane, the carbocation will form after the fragmentation will be primary. So that will be unstable and fragmentation will not be favored further. So that's why we will see a significant intense peak for the molecular ion in case of butane compared to isobutane. So other peaks we will see in this spectrum for the loss of methyl group from the molecular ion. So 58 minus 15 will show the peak for 43 in both spectrum and that's a more stands peak or 100% relative abundance. So that will be the base peak. Other peak we will see for the loss of CH2 units in a series like M minus 14, M minus 28, M minus 42. So that will be the predicted fragmentation for saturated hydrocarbons. Now we will discuss other two examples of octane and isooctane in case of saturated hydrocarbons. So the molecular ion peak in isooctane is too weak to be observed. As you can see here, while the molecular ion peak in its straight chain isomer is quite rarely observed. And the effect of chain branching on the intensity of the molecular ion peak can be understood by examining the method by which hydrocarbon undergo fragmentation as we have discussed in case of isobutane. Because in this case, the, uh, the fragmentation of molecular ion will give a primary carbocation and that will be very unstable and will not fragment further. While in case of isooctane, the uh, carbocation form after the fragmentation of molecular ion will be secondary or tertiary. So that may fragment further. So that's why we are seeing low intensity peak of molecular ion in case of isooctane. Other peak here will, will be observed after the loss of M minus CH2 group or M minus CH3 groups from the molecule. In this slide, I have put the spectra for pentane. So let's discuss this fragmentation pattern of pentane. Pentane has molecular weight 72. So we will able to observe the peak of molecular ion at 72 and this is a showing significant intensity here. The base peak is at 43 which is 100% abundance. Other peak we are seeing it at 57, 29 and 42, 41. Now we will see how we are getting these peaks. So we have to go through this mechanism. So this is the molecular ion which is showing the peak at 72. Now how this molecular ion may fragment further. So it may lose CH3, CH2 group first then we will show the peak at 43 which is the base peak here. Now if it lose CH3, CH2, CH2 then it will show, it will show the peak at 29. Now if we, it lose only one CH3 then it will show peak at the 57. Now, if it lose CH3, CH2, 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 then we will see only peak the for methyl cation that will 
be at 15 which we are not able to see here means this is not forming significantly so we are seeing peak for this cation here this cation 29 and we are seeing peak for 57 while this is the base peak now we are also seeing peak for 42 and 41 so these peaks are coming from the further fragmentation of this cation means this cation is losing proton and giving the peak at 42 and this is again losing the proton giving peak at the 41 so these are the all fragmentation pattern happening in the case of pentane now fragmentation pattern in case of cycloalkanes so cycloalkane generally form strong molecular ion peaks because fragmentation by the loss of molecule of ethane which is very common in cycloalkane and fragmentation of ring compound require the cleavage of two carbon carbon bond instead of one carbon carbon bond as we have seen in case of acyclic alkanes and which is more difficult process because cleaving two carbon carbon bond is always require more energy than cleaving one carbon carbon bond so therefore a large proportion of cycloalkane molecule than of acyclic alkane molecule may survive under the electron bombardment without further fragmentation so that's the reason we are able to see a significant intense intense peak in case of cycloalkane for the molecular ion further fragmentation may happen in this case of cycloalkane those will be m minus 28 which is the loss of a ethane molecule from the cycloalkanes and other fragmentation may occur by the losing of m minus 15 m minus 29 m minus 43 and m minus 57 from the molecular ions so this will be the fragmentation pattern in case of cycloalkanes now fragmentation in case of alkenes so alkene gives the molecular ion after losing an electron from the p orbital and now this molecular ion can fragment further so let's discuss the spectra of pentene and uh, which shows a peak or a base peak at 42 and this peak is appearing in this case due to McLafferty rearrangement <coughs> and the ion likely lose from the McLafferty type arrangement of the molecular ion so this is the McLafferty because this has proton at 3 carbon or gamma carbon from this side or radical cation side so this is 1 2 3 or alpha beta gamma so at gamma it has proton this proton will transfer to the radical cation side in this way so this proton at the gamma position will transfer to this side and finally we will get alkene and this is radical cation which will give the base peak in case of alkenes now we see the peak at 55 and this peak is coming due to the loss of methyl radical cation from here when this radical cation will lose from here we will get the peak at 55 other peak we are seeing at 41 and that peak is appearing due to alpha cleavage alpha cleavage means uh, loss of the bond from the neighboring proton at the active site or radical site so this is the radical site and this is the neighboring atom and this bond between this ch2 and ch2 will break through this alpha cleavage and finally you will get the this fragment which has the m by z or m by e 41 so we show the peak at 41 so finally we are able to interpret the significant peak appearing in the mass spectrum of pentane through these mechanisms. Now fragmentation of cycloalkenes. So in cycloalkenes and it derivatives undergo characteristic fragmentation through Diels elder reaction which we have discussed in previous lecture. So in which a diene and a monoanane fragments are formed. Now this positive charge may be on the diene or on the monane fragment but the abundance of the former means of the diene will be greater because it's higher resonance stabilization because this will stabilize this positive charge more so we will get this fragment in more abundance so this peak will be the base peak in case of cycloalkane if this positive charge will be with monane then we will see also the peak for this molecular weight to charge ratio also and thank you very much mm -hmm.